Remember quotation marks? Quotation marks are kind of punctuations that used when a speaker is talking in a conversation and you want to show his exact words. Like the teacher said, open your book. Now, now the teacher said, open your book, literally. You just repeated what she said. You copied what she said. So if she said the sentence as... Or if you wrote the sentence as she said it, you just put, the, put it between quotation marks. Quotation marks come at the beginning of the sentence until the end of the sentence that the speaker said. Now, quotation marks could come at the beginning before he said or he shouted or he exclaimed, or they could come after at the end. If they come at the beginning of the sentence, like you just show the quotations and then you say he said, he shouted, he asked, he exclaimed. You, you just write it before. You need to focus on the following. Number one, you focus on punctuation at the, at the beginning. Number two, the first letter should be capital. Number three, comma at the end of the sentence. Number four, Quotation to finish the sentence. And then he said or he asked or whatever, followed by a full stop. So you need to focus on four important things if the quotation come at the beginning. Number one, quotation at the beginning. Number two, capital letter. Number three, comma. Number four, quotation at the end. Okay? If the quotations come at the end, you need to focus on five things. Here you focus on four, here you focus on five. Number one, after he said or he shouted or exclaimed or whatever, there should be a comma. So number one, focus on the comma. Number two, focus on the quotation at the beginning. Number three, capital letter. Number four, the full stop or the question mark or the exclamation mark. It depends on the sentence. If it is a normal sentence, it finishes with a full stop. If it is a question, it finishes with a question mark. And if it is a surprising sentence, it finishes with exclamation mark. Number five, the quotation that comes at the end. Again and again, the quotation comes at the beginning. Focus on quotation, capital, comma, quotation. The quotation comes at the end. Focus on comma, quotation, capital, punctuation, and then quotation at the end. Okay? Uh, so, I think this is all regarding quotation marks. This is what you need to focus on. Um, okay, for example, he asked, number one, you need to focus on the, on the comma. It is here, comma, then quotation at the beginning, then capital letter, the first one is capital. Number four, won't you go with me to Duan's party? This is a question, so there should be a question mark. And number five, quotation at the end. They are all here, the same as this, comma, quotation, capital, punctuation, which is the full stop, and then quotation at the end. Okay. These are all the same, comma, quotation, capital, punctuation, quotation at the end. And, and that's it. Yes, and that's it. Okay, so that's all regarding quotation marks. Okay, now uh, what do you find on the pages included? Which part is for quotation marks? The part for quotation marks is booklet number three, page number, number six here. Okay, rewrite the following sentences on the lines below, add quotation marks and other punctuations where needed. Number one, said or exclaimed came at the end. So the quotation came at the beginning. So we need to focus on quotation, capital letter, comma, and then quotation at the end, then said or exclaimed, and then full stop at the end of the sentence. Here, the same. You need to do your homework every night, expressed Steve's mom. The quotation came at the beginning, so we need to write quotation. Capital letter, the first letter, you need, oh, sorry for that. You need to do your homework, homework every night, 
Okay, we finished. Now, comma, quotation, and then expressed Steve's mom. Full stop. Quotation, capital, comma, quotation. The same as here. Are we there yet? Ask, ask Susan from the back seat. Quotation came at the beginning. So, we need to focus on number one. Quotation, capital A. Are we there yet? This is a question. So, question mark, close quotations. And then you complete asked Susan from the back seat. Full stop. If I want to show or if I want to write it the opposite, I want to start with this part and then the quotation, I'll start that way. Asked Sosun from the back seat, comma, quotation, capital, are we there yet, question mark, and quotation. Okay? That's it. Regarding the book, on page 421, okay, quotation marks, page 421. Okay, uh, the first question asks you to underline the sentence in each pair in which quotation marks are used correctly. Let's see. Quotation, capital, comma, quotation. This is correct. Here, quotation, capital, quotation and then comma. This is totally wrong. The comma should become before the quotation at the end. It should be inside, not outside. So this is absolutely wrong. Comma, I mean quotation, capital letter, punctuation, quotation marks. This is correct. Here, quotation, capital, comma, Quotation, this is correct, but notice here, exclaimed, after it, we finished the sentence with a full stop, as here. But here they put exclamation marks, so this is wrong. So this one, we don't underline it. It is wrong. Here you need to rewrite the sentences, then you need to add the sentence, and you need to add the quotation marks correctly. I mean, the, punk, the quotation marks, yes, correctly. How will you how we will we play great parrot's favorite songs asked Bluebird. Quotation capital H how well we play great parrot's favorite songs punctuation mark and then quotation asked Bluebird full stop. This is what page 421. So that's all regarding the quotation marks. I hope you understand. Wait for the third and the last video.